Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So from the thumbnail, I hope you get to know about today's topic for this video. So in this video, I will be giving you the references that means the study material, lecture notes and standard books that you, you can follow if you are preparing for this new paper which is introduced by ISC Bangalore for GATE 2024 that is GATE in Data Science and AI or in short DA. Now in my last video, I have given a complete detailed analysis about the syllabus for this new paper and I have shown you what are there uh, for, for, for this particular paper and as you, as, you, as you can see that you know you have to prepare for probability statistics, you have to prepare for linear algebra, then, then a large part of the syllabus is machine learning AI. And there are two uh, subjects which is common with gate CS that is uh, data structure algorithm and database management system. So in this video, I will be giving you the references uh, for preparing for these subjects and specifically, you know, uh, as, as, as you can understand that these subjects will be there if you want to do your MTech also in data science from any IIT or ISC. So that's why the references I will be giving you will be from, from the courses what we have done during our MTech days and ISC. So during my time in ISC, I, I have taken classes in probability statistics, linear algebra, machine learning, artificial intelligence and in those classes whatever the you know resources instructor uh, you know used to recommend us to study that resources I am going to tell you in this video so that you know you can prepare well for this uh, these subjects and also as ISC will be preparing the question uh, you can have a rough idea from these books that what kind of questions can be asked for GATE 2024. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned with this video till end. So the first subject that I'll be talking about is probability and statistics. So in my last video, I have shown you that how much weightage is given to this particular subject that is probability and statistics. And there are many topics that is included in the syllabus for this particular subject compared to CSE. If you see, there are a lot of additional topics that is added uh, for probability statistics in DA paper. So that's why you can expect a lot of questions from this particular subject that is uh, probability and statistics. And as it's a mathematical course and as IIC is setting the paper, you can expect a lot of difficulties also for probability statistics. And I, I know that many students uh, will have a lot of difficulties whenever they will go to the advanced level for probability and statistics. So that's why you have to prepare really well for this particular subject. Now the first two book I'll be I'll be recommending you is by Professor Selden Ross. Uh, the first book is first course on probability which is quite common even among the students during undergraduate days. And the second book is a bit advanced level book that is introduction to probability model. But I recommend you, you refer both these books, the first course on probability, the first book and the second one introduction to probability model. Uh, you, you, you read from both the books and try to practice from the exercises. And both these books actually, you know, professors at ISC used to recommend us in, in, in most of the probability courses. So whichever course you will take, these two books are, are, are kind of a common reference uh, or common recommendations from the instructor. So that's why these two books I'll be, I'll be telling you that you can, you can prepare for your probability and statistics from these two books by Professor Selden Ross. The next two book is actually even an advanced level. Uh, so there is a there is a course at ISC Bangalore. Uh, I don't know whether it's offered now nowadays or not, but in during um, our time there is a course called Stoma, which is taken by Professor P S Sastri in Electrical Department, and almost all the professors in ISC used to recommend their student to take this course if he or she wants to understand uh, stochastic modeling and probability or the theoretical part of probability. And there Professor Sastri used to recommend us two books uh, that is by uh, SC Port and CJ Stone. Uh, the book name is uh, Introduction to Probability Theory, the first book and the second book is Introduction to Stochastic Processes. So if you if you want to go a bit more advanced in probability statistics and if you are already comfortable with the first two books by Professor Selim Ross, you can refer to these two books and you can practice from here for you know even build your better skill set in probability and statistics and random processes. So these four books uh, you can refer to and the name of the books everything I'll be given in the description so don't, no need to worry about it. Now coming to what, what the lecture uh, video you can refer to for, for lecture video in probability statistics 
I would I would highly recommend you the MIT video. So you search in the YouTube uh, that MIT probability statistics. There are two playlists available. One is uh, the old one where prof, you know professor is to teach in the classes. So that is the older uh, playlist that is available. And a comparatively new one is available where there are a lot of short videos based on you know small small topics. So whichever you will feel comfortable, you can refer to that. Both both actually contain the same syllabus. The only difference is the older one have a longer video format where they are taking classes and then they, that that has been uploaded. And the newer one contains small videos based on uh, you know small small topic and that they have uploaded. So whichever you you feel comfortable, you can refer to that. Finally, one web page uh, which I have already mentioned in many of my pre 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 previous videos that is probabilitycourse.com. There is a uh, you know web page that is available and in that web page also everything that is there uh, for, for, for the probability statistics subject in DA paper. Every topic is covered and there are some examples and exercises given for each each of the subtopic. So you can go and refer to this website called probabilitycourse.com. Uh, for preparing for this particular uh, subject that is probability statistics. The next subject I'll be talking about is uh, linear algebra. Uh, again, in, in, in DA paper, uh, there are a lot of emphasis is given on linear algebra subject also. So compared to CAC, where only matrix algebra and few part of the, of the, of the advanced level like eigenvalue eigenvector is being asked. Uh, so far, but here for DA paper, a uh, lot of emphasis is given on vector spaces and stuffs around it, dimensionality, singular value decomposition. So all these new topics has been added. So that's why you have to prepare for linear algebra very, uh, very carefully. A lot of attention here also you have to give because it's again a mathematical subject. So you can expect a lot of questions coming from different aspects of linear algebra and even you know a lot of difficult questions also may come uh, from these topics but yeah comparatively uh, probability statistics i feel linear algebra is a bit easier subject uh, so that's why it's it's easy to prepare for uh, so the first reference i'll be given or i'll recommend you is uh, the lecture videos by gilbert strang uh, it's again available uh, in youtube by mit and these lecture series or these playlists is kind of a heaven for all the students who want to you know prepare for linear algebra professor gilbert strang has taught the subject so well that it will build your intuition for each of the topics that is there uh, in the in the in the da da in da paper syllabus so that's why please go through this gilbert strang lecture video detail from end to end I think there are around 30 uh, videos uh, is there uh, so try to read them again and again go through them and there are two books I will recommend you uh, with, with this uh, lecture video the one book is again by Gilbert Strang so there is a uh, you know linear algebra book uh, that is that is written by uh, professor Gilbert Strang that you can refer with his videos and the second book is by professor David Lay uh, so this book is also written very well and it's it's you know easy to read and easy to build the intuition from this book uh, by professor david lay so these two books even i used to used to refer during my mtech days at isc for my linear algebra course so that's why uh, i can say that these two books if you follow it's sufficient for your preparation for linear algebra the next subject is calculus and optimization uh, for calculus part i would i would suggest you that whatever resources you have been following during your undergraduate days Please follow that only because it's a very small part and mostly it, it's, it's uh, similar to what's there for the CSE uh, subject. So that's why no need uh, to get any special attention for this. Whatever you have been following so far for your CS undergraduate or whatever under other, other engineering stream uh, if you are, whatever resources that you have followed so far that you can follow. The next is uh, for optimization. So uh, here uh, it has been told that uh, you know optimization for single variable that is the case and Taylor series is there. Uh, so for that I would recommend you that you can refer to Professor Series Sevade's uh, IIC NPTEL uh, lecture series on numerical optimization and first five lecture you can you can refer from it. Uh, so first lecture is actually the introduction part then the next two is um, for the mathematical background and the next two that is the fourth and fifth lecture is actually uh, the one dimensional optimization case which is actually a single variable optimization case which has been asked in the DA paper syllabus. So the first five lectures from this NPTEL course which is available in YouTube also that you can refer to for your 
uh, optimization uh, syllabus. The next subject is programming data structure and algorithm. So the last two part, the data structure and algorithm is almost similar to what you have for your CSE paper. So most of the topics are kind of common with CSE paper. There are few topics which has been omitted, but you know, maximum part of the topics are almost similar to the data structure algorithm from, from some from the CSE paper. So that's why whatever resources you have been following for data structure algorithm for CSE paper, the same references you can you can follow here. The only difference is uh, here they have been they have been told that you know the programming will be in Python. Now here comes the main question that what kind of question you can expect for the programming questions part. So I think it will be similar to what is uh, there for programming in, in, in computer science. So there they used to ask you, they used to give you a snippet of code, then they used to ask you what is the output or what is the error message kind of thing. Here also they will be asking you a similar kind of questions, but yeah, the programming will be written in Python, not in C. So I think that will be the only difference. So that's why I will, I will, I will suggest you that, that you practice the CSC paper programming questions also and send at the same time uh, you practice for python programming languages from lit code or from bricks for kicks so that you know you will have an idea about python uh, programming language also at the same time the logic based questions uh, if you prepare from the csc paper uh, so you, you will have an idea that what kind of question may be asked in 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 da paper also so i think that would be a good strategy to prepare for that you prepare uh, for CAC paper for the programming question at the same time you practice Python languages also so that whenever the similar kind of question will be asked in Python you will be able to answer them. The next subject is the most important subject for this paper that is machine learning and you know there are a lot of resources available online uh, for machine learning from all the different institutions that is there uh, in India as well as uh, in, in, in foreign countries. But Two lectures uh, video which I personally found is very good and it's well, well, you know, kind of designed to clear all the concepts uh, very well. So that I'm going to share with you that I'm going to recommend you to you. The first one is again by Professor P.S. Sastri uh, from ISC Bangalore and his lecture name is Pattern Recognition and Neural Network. In short, it's called PRNN and this is also a very kind of famous course in ISC Bangalore. Uh, so during my time, unfortunately, it was not offered. So I refer to this, uh, you know, YouTube lecture video, which is already available. But, you know, most of the professors, uh, they recommend uh, students to take this course as a preliminary course for machine learning and data science. So that's why this course, I would recommend you that pattern recognition and neural network by Professor P.S. Sastri, which is available in uh, NPTEL video in, in, in YouTube that you can refer to and the second video is Stanford CS229 course uh, which is I uh, you know machine learning full course by professor Andrew NG so this course is also very good uh, so it's a it's a it's a classroom video it's not that course a video by professor Andrew NG it's a classroom video which has been sought inside Stanford classroom so this this lecture series is also really really good and both this uh, lecture series lecture notes are available online so that also you can refer to for your you know kind of study material to study uh, what has been taught in the in the video now this is this two video i will suggest as a as a lecture video or, or kind of a course video the next one is uh, by professor pijus rai so his lecture notes are also really good uh, so he used to take courses on uh, introduction to machine learning back in 2016 to 2020 he has taken this course now now he is not taking this course but uh, the 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 course content or course materials are still there in the website so link i'll be given in the description so you can refer to his you know slides so those slides are really really good by professor piju Rai from iit kanpur so you can refer to his uh, you know uh, course material or course uh, slides now coming to what are the books that you'll be referring uh, so here two kind of you know kind of state of the art books we call for machine learning that I would recommend you to follow. The first one is by Professor Christopher Bissop. 
uh, whose book name is Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning. So, from this book, most of the content of Professor P. S. Sastri's uh, le uh, lectures has been designed. So, that's why you can relate whenever you will be following his lectures and reading the books by Professor Bishop, then there is, there is a strong correlation uh, between those two. And the second one is professor by Professor Kevin Murphy. Uh, the book name is Machine Learning a Probabilistic Perspective. So, that is also something that I will recommend you. So, these two books those two lecture uh, lecture videos and one uh, you know lecture notes i would recommend you that you can if you follow these five uh, resources that's sufficient for you uh, to prepare for machine learning the next subject is artificial intelligence or ai uh, frankly speaking, uh, I haven't found much uh, resources available for this topic and even the syllabus also there are only few uh, subtopics that are mentioned for AI. AI is a worst area and only few topics like searches and all are given in, in the syllabus. Uh, so there are two lecture videos uh, or, or, or uh, kind of two courses I have found out. One is uh, by Professor Mossam from IIT Delhi that is an introduction to artificial intelligence and the second one is by Professor Deepak. Uh, Khemani from IIT Madras uh, his AI course also is available online but apart from that I didn't find much resources available for this particular topic even uh, uh, any book also you know I, I didn't find any book so that's why I'm not recommending anything in here so I would suggest to you that you know all these subtopics that is there for this subject you just take one subtopic search in the Google that for this subtopic what are the lecture notes available and see what are the lecture notes available from different institution and you can you can you can refer to them for your preparation uh, because otherwise it's very difficult to find a concrete kind of you know lecture series for these topics so that's why this kind of searches if you made then maybe you will be finding a, a lecture note or some slides for that particular topic and this is how you can prepare for this subject. The final subject is database management system and data mining. Uh, so for database management system again it's almost similar to the CSE paper so that's why whatever resources that you have been following for your CSE database management system uh, subject that you can refer for it and for the advanced level part that is data mining part again you know there is no such standard resources or standard courses or books available in online here again what you have to do is kind of similar thing I have told you for AI that you take each topic uh, paste in the Google Google search bar and then write uh, tutorial or lecture notes you will be finding a lot of uh, PDFs from different institutions that you can refer for your preparation uh, so that will be helpful for you that you know topic wise you search for the lecture notes and prepare for it but yeah these two uh, you know from these two subjects like uh, this data mining part and ai i don't think much questions will be coming from it because there are only few topics has been mentioned here so maybe 10 marks you can expect from it but most of the in most of the uh, cases you can expect questions from machine learning uh, probability statistics then linear algebra and then data structure algorithm so these parts you have to prepare really well you can expect 70 to 80 percent questions coming from these subjects only because these are most important subjects for this particular paper yeah so these are different references you can follow for your preparation for this uh, new paper that is data science and AI or DA paper for gate 2024 so these are different books uh, lecture notes and lecture series you can uh, you know refer for these different subjects like probability statistics linear algebra machine learning and so on and so forth and try to practice from its exercise this book different books that I have told you for from their exercise try to practice because as of now there is no standard question paper you'll be getting uh, uh, from IITs and ISA because this is the first time this paper uh, is being introduced so the standard questions that is only available in the exercise of these books and these books which I have told you they are very standard books so that's why you can refer to their exercises their examples and practice as much as possible for building your intuition and for, for building your skill set uh, so that in the final exam also you'll be able to uh, solve the questions and these are uh, the different books which you know as I, as I said in the in the beginning also that these are the books that is that we have been recommended by our instruction during our curriculum mtech curriculum in isc bangalore so these different subjects we have taken as a part of our mtech curriculum and these are the different books uh, that you know different professors has recommended us so that's why if you prepare from it 
uh, your preparation will be well enough to tackle the questions that will be coming from ISC Bangalore in Gate 2024. So yeah, that's it, guys. You know, if you like this video, hit a like, uh, hit a like, and share this video to other people also so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you, you will get instant notification there are quite a few video again will be coming on this particular topic that is uh, this new paper DA paper I'll be making and that will be coming into the channel very soon so stay connected stay uh, tuned that's it about this video I'll be meeting in the next video until then bye